Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Rafaela. I do beauty, fashion, lifestyle, DIYs, vlogs, and yeah, that's it. Um, so if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. For today's video, I'm going to show you my everyday makeup routine. Obviously, given the fact we are in lockdown here in Portugal, I'm not doing a full face of makeup every single day. Most of the days I don't even wear makeup at all. Um, but when I do, I like to go full beat, full face of makeup. So this is the routine I'm going to show you. And if you like to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start by using my PS Prep and Perfect prim Primer Water. Okay, for foundation, I'm going to use my Kiko Unlimited foundation in the shade Warm Rose. I use about a pump and a half. Lately, I haven't been loving the super high coverage foundation makeup look. So I've been really navigating towards a more like naturally beautiful, flawless skin type of look. Um, it, it really depends on my mood, honestly, because sometimes I love like a full glam, like full big face. Um, but for a everyday use, I just prefer something a little bit lighter. You can still see all my pimples, some of my redness, but I'm okay with that because I'm going over with concealer, so I really don't need that much coverage. For concealer, I'm going to use my Catrice Liquid, 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 Liquid Camouflage in the shade 7, Natural Rose. And I'm just going to add some here, here, here. Okay, so I finally finished watching Once Upon a Time after, after four years, I think, or three years since it ended. And I have to say, what was that last season like? I also like to bring my concealer up here because I use it as an eyeshadow primer. And that's it. So to powder my face, I'm going to use my Kiko invisible touch powder so i'm going to set with my sponge underneath my eyes to make sure it doesn't crease but the rest of my face i'll just use a big fluffy brush i know i look crazy but it's going to be okay moving on i'm going to do my brows just because why not I'm going to use my spoolie to brush them up. Like that. I don't do anything crazy with my brows, so I'm just going to fill them in using my brow pencil from Primark. And to set them, I'm going to use my Essence Make Me Brow in the shade Blondie Brows. Okay, for bronzer, I'm going to use my favorite bronzer of all time, which is my Kiko Bolus Fusion. Bronzer powder in the shade 06, a big fluffy brush, and I'm just going to put it all over. I love bronzer. As you can tell, I already hit pan here. I love this. This is so good because it's warm tone, but it's not orange, and it lasts very, very well on the skin, even though I have oily skin. And it's just beautiful, it blends like a dream. I love it so, so much. Trust the process, it will look good in the end. I hope. Then I use a smaller brush and I just slightly contour my nose. Then I 
like to put it just underneath my nose to make it look shorter and then I put a little bit just here to give my nose more of a button nose look I know it looks crazy right now but it will look good just trust it a little bit here and then I contour my eyes Next I'm going to use my PS blush, um, high pigment blusher in the shade Desire, it looks like this. This is from Primark, this is 1 euro and 50 and it's just so beautiful, it's unreal. It looks matte on the pen but it actually has such a beautiful glow to it, it's just... It's 1 euro and 50, like... Like, I really like Primark makeup, even though they do have some sketchy products, but in general they have very good quality makeup. I like to put my blush almost touching my eyeball. I feel like it gives my face a lift and it just looks so cute, like I've been in the sun and like it's warm outside and it's summertime, life is good. <laughs> yeah, so blush can do that. And I also like to put it on my nose To highlight my face I'm going to use my Revolution Sofax Highlighter Palette And I'm just going to use this shade Okay, so my camera just stopped filming, I don't know where it stopped But hopefully I was doing my highlighter already Highlighter is done and I'm just going to use the primer water I used before just to melt everything together and to keep that... I don't know I don't know if it does something but I like to do it Face is done so let's move on to eyeshadow uh, I'm going to use my Revolution <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so for eyeshadow I'm going to use my Revolutions of X Ultra Eyeshadows This is the first one she came out, I think I love the mirror in this thing, it's like huge I'm going to start by using this shade over here and I'm going to put it all over my eyelid I'm going to use this brown over here and I'm going to use this angle brush I need to clean my brushes um, and I'm going to do a line with this It doesn't have to be super precise because I am going to be blending it Now using this brush I'm going to use the same shade Tap it and I'm just going to blend it Now I'm just going to use this lighter brown over here to blend it it also warms up the look which i like now using this darker brown over here and the angle brush i'm going to use not use i'm going to do more of a precise wing liner I really like the cat eye fox eye look so I try to wing it out as much as I can without being too heavy and now to deepen it up I'm going to use the black shade but I'm focusing it really close to my lash line Now I'm going to use the brush I used before and I'm going to put a little bit of this lighter brown on my lower lash line 
Okay, now I'm going to do the other eye off camera because it takes me a long time to do it and I don't have a lot of batteries, so I'll see you right back. Hello, we Hanna. So now I'm going to apply a little bit of blush, powder. In my inner corners, I'm going to use this shimmer shade over here moving on i'm going to curl my eyelashes using this very gross curler um it looks gross but it works wonders and then for mascara i'm going to use my essence lash princess sculpted volume mascara I don't mind clumpy lashes, so I'm going to go for a second coat. So for lashes, I'm going to use these ones. These ones are from Primark. I cut them in half and I use just half of it and I put it on my outer corner. I'll see you right back because I'm still not able to do it on camera. Lashes are done. Eye makeup is done, so last step of this video is lips and to do my lips I'm going to use my I know this isn't like supposed to be used like this but this is my PS eyeliner it's just the, the light brown one I don't have a nude lip liner I only have one lip liner and it's red so it doesn't work with this look I'm going to use this as a lip pencil and I'm just going to apply it my lips. And for lipstick, I'm going to use my Primark lip crayon, matte lipstick crayon actually. It's very old, I don't know the name of the shade. It's just a pink, light pink nude. Very, very pretty. And to finish the look off, I'm going to use my Catrice lip butter in the shade 20. Just give my hair a brush. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. I I love it. Honestly, it's even though I have a lot of makeup layers on my face, it looks super natural and my skin looks very skin-like, nothing like too crazy, you know? I don't know what to do with my hair. I'm just going to leave it natural because today was washing hair day, but it's I just don't feel like doing anything to it. So I'm just going to leave it natural uh, anyway this is a finished makeup i hope you like it if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like it subscribe for more videos and i'll see you very soon on my next one bye